is your energy and this is your person's energy. So husband, wife, ex, boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever you're interested in, whoever you just started dating, whoever you're thinking about in terms of love, okay? This is their energy. They're gonna kind of mirror each other and reflect off each other, so I'll point those aspects out as we go through the reading. And then here we have the challenge, the benefit for the week, and then the outcome for the week. We also have the overall energy for the week, Tauruses. We have the full card reversed. So what this means is whoever is on your mind, whatever is going on in your love life, you're, there's something going on that's causing you guys to not fully move forward. You know, it's almost as if you know that it needs to happen or that you both want it to happen, but... It's like you both need the other person to do something first before you can get into that next phase or start something new with them, okay? So interesting. The good news is that because the Fool card is here, the good news is that is that energy is around you. It's kind of in your thoughts and most likely theirs too, but you're needing something from them in order to flip this Fool card around and actually get get something going. Okay, let's talk about you. Taurus, we have the Page of Swords. So, obviously in your love life, you're one, either involved in somebody or wanting some, somebody back or very interested in somebody. But what you're doing, we have the Hermit card and the Page of Swords. What you're doing is watching. Okay. This doesn't have to be so dramatic that you're spying and stalking and all that stuff. It can mean that, but in um, because you're Taurus, you're probably less likely to do that anyway. But you are watching. You're watching, and again, because we have this Fool card reversed here, you're watching and you're waiting for something to happen. And in the meantime, you're kind of gathering information. Okay, What are they going to do? What's their next move going to be? Are they seeing somebody else? Are they... Are they cheating? Like those types of, are they interested? Why aren't they communicating with me? Let me text them and see how they respond so I can make more uh, assessments about where their thought process is. Okay, those types of things. We have the hermit here. And this means, again, with the full card reversed, you're pulling back and analyzing. Okay, this usually means going into solitude and having deep, introspection into your own thoughts and your own feelings about a situation but because it's right next to the page of swords you're purposefully pulling back not necessarily going into solitude or deep thought but you are retreating from the person retreating from the situation for the purpose of gathering more information okay are they going to come back and apologize are they going to start seeing somebody else are they going to continue to work late and make excuses that type of stuff so you're also, we have the high priestess here, you're also really, in doing this, you're also trying to gauge your own insight. You're trying to gauge your own emotions about it, emotions about their responses, their reactions, their lack of response. You're trying to gauge what it all means for you from them. So you're trying to seek some sort of, and you are, not only are you trying to seek some sort of higher understanding or higher um, level of thinking about them and the relationship, you are getting that insight. So you're getting what you need. And then here we have the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus. So it looks like there's a new beginning and we know they're kind of, it's on the brink anyway. So there's a new beginning in some regards that is a very stable beginning. And this could also indicate big Taurus when you're earth sign. So you do tend to look at things from a very practical standpoint, a very realistic standpoint, and you try to keep yourself grounded. That's why you're doing this. That's why you're gathering information. That's why you're retreating. That's why you're really listening to yourself before reacting to them and before um, jumping to conclusions. The fact that the Ace of Pentacles here is here and then we have the Fool card reversed, this really does mean that something is about ready to turn around and based on what you're doing here, you're going to get the information that you need and that you want before taking it to that next level. Now, in your person's world, with respect to you or their love life, 
They have the magician. So it, they're, they're either ready to start taking initiative, which is maybe what you're needing, so you know that it's something that can be solid. They're either getting ready to, or they're really thinking about it, or thinking about how to do it. And also, if you're kind of retreating, it's a little, it might be a little confusing for them, and so they might be holding off a little bit. That's why the overall energy is the fool. But as we progress through the week, this will be happening. There will be an apology, or uh, uh, they'll be coming towards you in some manner to communicate. They'll take the matter into their own hands. Now, one thing that you might be knowing about them or, uh, or understanding about them, and another reason why you may be pulling back a little bit is because you might know that they have a lot of stuff going on in their life. They may be bombarded with work. They might have family in town. They might be going on a trip. It's August. Everybody travels in August. And so you're kind of aware of what's happening in their life. Still wanting this, but aware that they're very busy and so you're kind of giving them their space. But you're still wanting some sort of uh, initiation from them or some more information from them. This is the really good news though. We have the two of pentacles and it's reversed, which means that they're not really juggling another person per se. Okay. They, you are on their mind. You are their person. Okay. You're there. They're your person that you are their person. And, uh, there's just a lot going on. They have to kind of get through in order before they can get to this phase. Okay. Cause again, both of your energies are here right about ready to take an action level up they're resting so they're going through this kind of volatile again they want to talk they want to take initiation it's all about you with them but they're going through this volatile thing this week where there's kind of fits and starts they're expending a lot of energy doing something in their life and then they have to rest and even during this rest they may be wanting to do this, but they think, okay, well, tomorrow I'm really busy or I have something to do tonight, so I'll do it later. So they're thinking about it, but they also are kind of trying to rest their soul because they know that once once this takes place, this is going to take place, okay? A solid new beginning. So let's talk about the challenge, which is the Ace of Cups. Obviously, um, space creates attraction silence can create attraction in short short periods of time it also can develop feelings but only to a certain level right if you need something from somebody you can be patient for so long and they can be patient for so long but in order for the real feelings to develop it it takes interaction it takes beginnings it and um so the challenge this week is that initially at least you're not going to be getting what you need and it's going to kind of cause these feelings to go up and down or just down and again still there's still a really solid or you're wanting something really solid and um uh beginning you're wanting that but you're also needing more from them in order for these feelings to really develop or at least until you feel really connected to them the benefit to us is that we have the Eight of Wands, and so this communication, it's coming. You need it. It's coming. Now, how it comes may be a little bit of an interesting story because we have the King of Swords here. So, this means that you're kind of being strategic in your actions. You're giving them space, needing information from you, but they are also being a little strategic because they are mirroring you in some aspects with this. They may also be doing this. Well, I'm interested in them, but they're pulling back. So maybe they're not interested in me, even though you're both really uh, thinking about each other. So the communication is going to come, but there's a little strategy involved with this communication. Okay. There's strategy on your part. There's strategy on their part, regardless of how busy they are, regardless of what else is going on. And regardless of their action, you're still going to be in part of this strategy, Taurus, is you're still going to be gauging, okay? You're going to have, still have this introspection of whatever it is that they do, however they communicate, you're still going to be thinking strategically about it. 